Hi there. This video will briefly go over the fundamental elements of the core instructional model. After communicating the objective to the class, spend approximately 20% of class time activating, assessing, or augmenting relevant knowledge. This is often done at the beginning of class through a do now or a warm up activity of some sort that elicits from students what they already know and also may build initial knowledge that they need in order to access the upcoming content. Teacher input may include presenting new information through telling, modeling, demonstrating, thinking aloud. Uh, when presenting new material, it's important to gradually release the responsibility to the students through student active participation. So teacher input and student active participation actually work best in fluidity. During student active participation, students should be actively manipulating the content, engaged in learning through, through reading, writing, and talking. Examples of SAP include using graphic organizers, writing summaries, uh, filling out uh, T-charts where uh, Cornell notes or other types of notes, turn and talk, etc. This should make up approximately 45% of class time and 65% when it's combined with tip or teacher input. Try to reserve the last 15 minutes of class or about 10-ish minutes for identifying student success. These are closing activities that are not necessarily graded, but they cement learning by connecting back to the lesson objective like exit tickets. The purpose of ISS is to connect back to the lesson objective to gather formative data on whether or not students have mastered the daily objective. Finally, monitor student learning, adjusting instruction throughout 100% of the time. Remember that the percentages above are uh, approximate and are not meant to be inflexible because often you'll need to adjust based on students' learning needs. The uh, graph here is a thinking frame that has questions to consider to help you plan each aspect of your instruction when using the core instruction model. And I hope all of this was helpful to you.